you know, welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day of the week for a while, and I do apologize if for the sound of running water. Somebody's using the water right now. I'm not sure who, but anyway, I hope that doesn't bother you guys. It doesn't bother me, so, so I do apologize. So anyway, so today I'm going to talk about the top five things to do while being quarantined. So I know like the world's kind of getting into shutdown again, like everything's closing due to quarantine because I've heard the cases of coronavirus are going up high. But just to think of it, there's still things you guys can do while you're in quarantine. Like I understand how it feels to be in quarantine. I had to be quarantined when my counts were low going through chemo, but I did find some other ways to keep myself busy while being in quarantine and I'm going to talk about what those are and I'm going to get started and if you guys have picked up any other hobbies while in quarantine what are you doing let me know down in the comments below or what are you doing like to spend time with your family while you're in quarantine let me know down in the comments below and I'm going to get started so number one in my list would have to be knitting so this is what I did pretty much during the whole quarantine from March to November and I, right now, as you guys can see, I am knitting a project right here. I'm not going to say what it is because it's a surprise. Surprise. So anyway, um, I liked doing this a lot. Um, I did, I always do this whenever I'm just sitting at home and not doing anything. And this, and not only do I do it just for fun, but it also helps with my anxiety because during this quarantine, I got a lot of anxiety due to the pandemic because it because of losing my schedule of not going to my job and not going to my program so when I was knitting it helped me with my anxiety and it was a great way for me to just like relax and not think about things and it just calms my mind and I really enjoy it enjoy it and it's super fun and I love it so much Number two on my list would have to be crochet. Now, I don't really crochet that well, um, most of you guys know, but I do sometimes practice, like, if I want to get a little bit better at my stitches or stitches. I used to actually crochet with my friend Alice. You guys may have seen my friend Alice on YouTube sometimes. She crochets a lot, and I've been crocheting with her a lot. And I don't really crochet, to be honest, because, again, I'm not the best crocheter. I prefer knitting because it's just easier for me for me but it is a great way but I have practiced a little bit and I have gotten a little bit better at crocheting with all the practice practice but I just like knitting better just because it's easier for me to keep my rows straight and I understand it a bit better than I did with crochet because I like crochet but um when I first started it I just didn't understand how it worked like my rows were getting crooked I but what's funny is I still kept doing it even though I wasn't good at it but after practicing with one of my friends, um, my friend Alice, um, I got better at crocheting the more I practiced with her. her. And it's just a great way to calm my mind and stuff. Stuff is just a fun way to do. Number three, I'm going to let you play board games. Now, my family and I play board games. The only thing I can't do is knit and play board games because I'm very distracted by my knitting and knitting and it just um keeps me from having to move the game forward like I tried to play a game of clue and knit with my family and it didn't work out like I planned and but when I was up in um when I was up in my cabin with my mom and my aunt we played a game of blockus so um I don't have the game on me but it's a really fun game where you have to match the corners of your color of the same color you choose like for instance um my if my color was blue I'd have to match the corner up with um, blue. And if you guys are interested in purchasing a game, I'll try to find it on Amazon and link it down below for you guys. Number four, my list would be puzzles. Now, I love to do puzzles. I used to do them all the time when I was little. And fun fact, when I was a kid, I used to try to figure out where a piece would go instead of just stick it in a random spot. Spot. I just really had so much fun doing puzzles, and I'd be able to find out where the piece went quickly. Number five on my list would have to be watching movies. Now, this is what I've been doing with my mom and my other, my mom and my whole family pretty much a lot because since we're stuck at home quite a lot, 
we needed something to keep us we need something to keep us occupied and sometimes we need a break from what we're doing so we decide to like try to find a good movie to watch and we really really um and it occupies our minds and gets our minds off things especially disney movies those always cheer me up when i'm anxious and i need something to calm me down so um yeah and my mom and i just recently watched a really funny um a really funny Anna Kendrick movie. I can't remember the name of it. One second. It's called, I found out the name. It's called Mr. Right. It's really funny. It's one of my new favorite Anna Kendrick movies. It's a really, really good movie. It, movie. I really enjoyed it. It's got, it's like kind of those spy comedies and it's a great like film and it's this film and it's super funny. And if you guys haven't seen it, you definitely should check it out. It is such a cute, funny movie. I love it. It's one of my favorites favorites um favorites and you can also watch other movies in quarantine and if you guys would like a top 10 quarantine movies please let me know down in the comments below and i will do one okay so those are my top five things to do while being quarantined i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already i post every day of the week one i'll see you in another video soon bye